Hey everybody, PsychoSaurus is here and I want to talk about projectiles and a stat called tracking today and <laughs> it might be a little bit confusing for someone I feel like so I want to go ahead and explain it and yeah, that's pretty much the whole point of this video so first projectiles I have to say about this few things so first projectiles what are those Imagine any ranged units, say Toxores, Bowmen, Ballistas, anything like that. When they attack, they fire something called projectile. Whether it's the arrow, whether it's the Ballista bolt or whatever. They'll fire it and they do damage when the projectile hits its target. So this thing, the arrows and the uh, bolts and such we'll call these projectiles now we have two types of projectiles the first one is target hitting or i would call it target hitting rather and the second one is ground hitting the target hitting that's pretty straightforward when the unit fires its projectile the projectile will go after its target if the target moves the projectile will change its trajectory and it will follow the target and it will hit it no matter what no matter where the target moves whether it changes the direction of movement it doesn't matter the projectile always hit this thing is typical like i said for toxodes bowmen gastrofetes and i would say even something like helipolis and ballista trirems the, these units have these kinds of projectiles now for the ground hitting projectiles, this is a little bit different, they don't work the same way. They rather hit the ground where the target will be standing when they keep moving at the same pace. So let's say you have the ballista for example, it will fire at the target's location. If the target is standing, it will go where the target is standing. If the target is moving, the projectile will go where the target will be when the projectile would hit it so it will like cross at the same point and hit that area the difference is these projectiles don't have to hit the target directly to do the damage they are hitting the ground and then they are doing the damage depending on what's standing there so like i said if you have ballista it fires the projectile even if it misses the target it will hit the ground and if there are units around thanks to the splash damage it will do damage to surrounding enemies now like I said good example is Ballista pretty much any most siege units like Scorpios, Onagers, Catapults a good example for this another great example for this projectile are the arrow ships, fire ships and even fortresses you can see this fact that they are actually hitting ground and they are hitting the ground where the target will be can be used to actually dodge these projectiles and it's quite useful to know that especially during the naval battles now how did I come up with these two types of projectiles how do I know that like Ballista 3M has the target hitting and not the ground hitting well it's very simple it's actually because of the splash damage if the unit has the splash damage and they have the ground hitting like the Ballista for example when they hit the ground they actually do the damage but if they hit nothing it doesn't matter because they'll do the damage in the area so even if there are units standing there just around and they just barely get missed they'll still take the damage now with ballista trillions this is slightly different and when they actually try hit the target and they miss the target and it looks like that they hit the ground but they actually did not hit anything they do not hit the ground there will be no splash damage applied to the unit standing in that area nothing that's how it works that's how i keep saying that this is the the ballista trams have the target hitting not the ground hitting and ballista trams are a little bit weird about it if you want another good example for that it's like war chariots with sargon advisor Carpentomes with their champion upgrades if they keep hitting the same target and the target dies and there are additional projectiles flying towards the target that is dead already 
they do no damage because they are not hitting anything. So the splash after the target died is not applied at all. And yeah, this is a thing I've noticed. <laughs> so yeah, why this is important, the splash damage is very important thing about this one. So yeah, if you have the direct hit, the target hitting projectiles, the splash will get applied only when they hit the target and if the target is dead, there will be no splash. Whereas with the ground hitting, if the target is dead, it doesn't matter, they will still apply the splash. Okay, uh, another thing, and this is the stat I mentioned at the beginning, the tracking. Tracking is... how would I describe it? It's... I feel like it works differently for these two kinds of projectiles. So let's start with the target hitting. When, it, when you are hitting the target with this target hitting projectile, and it keeps moving, it will still follow. That is true, but that the tracking is actually causing something that the target actually can be missed. And I have actually indirectly pointed this out in one of my previous videos, which was completely ran random and I didn't know what was causing it. Didn't know about tracking at all at the time. So if you want to check out that video, I'll leave the link in the description to that part of the video and it was when I was raiding the legendary advisors namely Esfandiar with the range attack for the immortals I mentioned that Im I've noticed that immortals were missing raiders for some reason and it was only raiders and after a while I understood once I found out that tracking exists I understood that it was because of the tracking. So what does the tracking do? Well, tracking is a number that says if the target moves with speed equal to or less to the tracking, it will get hit no matter what. The projectile will follow it. Now, if the target is faster than the tracking, it means the projectile will never hit it. And that's what actually was happening du during that time when I was talking about the Immortals, this was happening. So Raiders were moving so fast that Immortals were missing them because Immortals have, I don't know how high the tracking is for them, but it seems they have low tracking, low enough that if Raider is moving fast enough, it will miss them. That's what was happening. And this is how it works for the target, target hitting projectiles with the tracking. Now we have the ground hitting projectiles and tracking here seems to work slightly different and one of the reasons why I'm talking about tracking and projectiles here is because there have been these few changes to elephant archers and war wagons where they increase the track rate for those two units they increase it from 7 to 14 and it seems like the those two units became more accurate now for that, I need to go to painting and explain what's actually going on here. So imagine you have the ranged unit. Where's my cursor? Okay. Imagine you have the ranged unit. It fires its projectiles. It follows the trajectory. It hits the target. That's what the ideal thing is. Now for the ground hit hitting units, and let me change color. There, there seems to be a small deflection that it actually is not following the the trajectory line perfectly and it won't hit the certain unit specifically but it will rather hit the area around it so it's gonna be like this small area yeah so let's say there's some kind of angle and with the, within this angle when they fire the projectile will try to hit the target but it will like hit in smaller area around it. So it will try to hit the target but because there is more deflection angle over here it will cause that the air target will not get hit directly but the area around it. And this is probably not as noticeable on war wagons but on elephant archers this was very noticeable that the elephant archers were not hitting the target they were rather hitting the area around the target and since elephant archers don't have that huge splash area like war wagons 
it seemed that the elephant archers were missing a lot of damage because of that. So yeah, what actually does the tracking do then? Why does it cause that elephant archers all of a sudden are mo much more accurate? This is just pure theory because I feel like I feel like that's what's done because I've been trying to watch what's actually happening with the arrows from elephant archers so I'm not 100% sure this is true I'm more about like 90% sure that that's what's happening here but basically the tracking actually lowered the angle of deflection over here which caused that the final area hit around the target has been reduced to something like this and because of that it seems like the elephant archers are much more deadlier because they are hitting much smaller area so the damage becomes more focused and the main target is actually taking the damage when you think about it the area is so small that the air target might be finally standing in the splash area so the main target is finally taking the as much damage as possible and it seems like they are dying more, more often and I feel like that's what's happening here with the elephant archers, war wagons I, I don't feel like there's much difference there but with elephant archers this is definitely very noticeable I saw elephant archers hitting much much greater area before which would be like something like this maybe even greater now with the tracking increased the area became so small the target is getting hit much more easily than before and because of that they take more damage the main targets die much faster is this good is this bad how should I say it it has advantages and disadvantages with this when the damage becomes this focused it's yeah they can like overkill this one target much more easily but when the area was greater it made it more like it made it much better in bigger fights when there's a lot of units and you like keep hitting greater area around the main target it's like you do more splash damage that way but it, the damage becomes more spread that overall might be like much less damage but if you if your elephant archers keep fighting for longer duration in, in the end they would just kill the targets at the same time yeah, just more targets at the same time with this they are killing one target at a time it's much more easier easier this way is it better is it worse I mean, killing bigger armies at the, at the same time or killing less units but faster I think it's better the way it is now because if you kill them sooner they cannot do the damage and when they cannot do damage well your units survive longer that's that's pretty good okay I hope I know it's terrible painting but whatever I hope this helped with the explanation of how the tracking works I like I said this is just a theory it's not 100% sure this is just based on my observations of what was happening with the elephant archers uh, yeah the same thing applies when the target is moving when they move they would hit the ground and again they would not hit the center of the ground they would hit the area around the center so with the tracking the the area has been lowered and it makes it look like the Elephant archers are much more deadlier than that. So yeah, I think I don't have anything else to say. Maybe maybe one small bonus which could be applied to both of these. Beware of the high grounds. It's I think it's obvious why for the ground hitting units. But I've also noticed that the target hitting projectiles also seem to hit the cliffs for some reason. It, it's not like always it it's just there's a chance they will hit the cliff and not the unit standing on the cliff so I feel like that can happen as well but it's not that often and it's very noticeable in Asgard if, if you want to check that out okay and I think that's all for me for now tell me if I've missed something if I I tried my best to explain this 
and hopefully it helped with the explanation of what the tracking does. And yeah, re remember use the fact that there are ground hitting projectiles during the naval battles. And yeah, that's all. So like this, share this, tell me what do you think, did I miss something? Comments section is there below the video. And yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.